salutations friends welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be reviewing this new fragrance from gucci gucci bloom this is the newest fragrance released from when gucci got the new creative director alessandro michela and i'm really excited to bring this for you guys or to review this for you guys so let's get into the review Review is not sponsored. This was not sent to me. I bought this with my own money. I had sampled it before in stores and just really loved it and so I picked up a bottle. Now I did want to throw something out there for you guys. Anytime I purchase a bottle because I love it and I review it, I am going to separate myself and my tastes from the review. Um, which means if I like it, I expect not everyone's going to want to smell like me. I'm pretty sure not everyone wants to smell the same as somebody else. So when I review this fragrance, guys, I'm going to be reviewing it unbiased. Like, hey, I love it. Let me check it out. But there'll probably be times where you know why I like this so much. And I'm going to get into why I'm saying that when I get into the notes of this fragrance. Now this is was going to be released globally in August. And I believe this is the very first fragrance under uh, Michela that um, came out. And I think that they're going a new direction with things. Firstly, the bottle is different from anything I've seen Gucci do. I really, really, really love this bottle. So let's get into the notes and then I'll tell you about how it develops on the skin, its longevity, projection, and if I think it's worth picking up. Now you guys know I love white floral fragrances. And this is kind of like what I mean by I'm going to try and pull myself out of reviewing this fragrance because of my extreme obsession with white florals. This fragrance is a white floral explosion. It's got tuberose, orris, jasmine, and it has um, a note in here called Rangoon Creeper, or it's the Chinese honeysuckle. It's kind of sweet, um, a little bit fruity, um, and it pairs really nicely with the orris, the tuberose, and the jasmine. Now, because I love white floral so much, this was a no-brainer for me. <laughs> this was, I smelled it, I was like, yes, I'm going to buy you at some point. I just need to sample you a bunch to s make sure that it's, I will wear you enough. And I just fell in love with it because it's such a beautiful white floral fragrance. So if you guys like white floral fragrances, you'll probably love this. However, if you don't like, like white floral fragrances, just stop watching this review, go watch something else, because... There is nothing in this that isn't white floral. This is a white floral explosion. If you don't like white florals, run for the hills. This is not the fragrance for you. I like, what I like most about this is kind of like its balance that it has. I'm gonna put this bottle down. I like the fact that overall, this is a very predominantly tuberose fragrance. And sometimes with tuberose, you can get a little bit tropical. Sometimes with tuberose, you can get way dated, a little bit too musky and green and bitter. And this one's really nice because it's slightly powdery and fruity. A little bit kind of reminds me of like a honeyed white floral scent. Very sweet and fruity. But the powderiness that this has kind of tones that down a little bit. Everything's really well balanced in this fragrance, which makes it really nice. The tuberose is the most apparent note in this entire thing. And pretty much all the other notes are there to just kind of like hold the tuberose back or in check. So it's not running off this way. It's not running off that way. It's just kind of like, you're a tuberose fragrant. I'm a very heady, loud and proud white floral. Here I am. But all the other things that are playing with it are keeping it balanced. And that's really, really nice. And I like how they all work together. If you don't like white florals and you don't like tuberose, you probably will not like this. However, if you want a really nice introductory white floral fragrance, if maybe you're only familiar with white florals that are dated, that are musky or heavy or bitter this is a beautiful one to check out because there's a lot of niche white floral fragrances out there that are really beautiful but they they smell niche they smell very complex they smell very um like there's a lot going on and as much as i love those fragrances i don't really recommend those as an introductory fragrance into white florals especially if you're unsure if that's the route you want to go with your fragrance but i do think this is a really beautiful introductory white floral fragrance there's no bitterness there's no heaviness it's very singular um it's again it's very tuberose but it's a very pleasant beautiful youthful sophisticated um 
just playful fragrance. It's really, really nice. Um, I do find that this one stays true on the skin the entire time you wear it. It doesn't develop at all. It stays the same. So if you like those fragrances that kind of tell a story on your skin the longer you wear it, this is not one of them. But this is something that if you like the smell in it and you spritz it on your skin and you smell your skin 10 minutes later and you love it, you're going to like it the entire lifespan of the fragrance on your skin. I think this is a beautiful offering. <laughs> so, um... Pulling myself out of the review, it's a great white floral, great introductory white floral. I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, but if you don't like white floral fragrances, then this is definitely not for you. So let's get into the projection and the longevity because that's going to be another thing that people are going to worry about. I mean, that's what I worry about when I purchase fragrances. Um, the longevity of this fragrance is pretty good. I actually get about eight hours of wear on my skin with medium application. Now, this is not a fragrance you're going to want to overspray. I never really recommend overspraying any white floral fragrance. But with about four spritzes, you're going to get about eight hours of wear depending on where you apply it and how you apply it. I'm also going to say it also depends on your environment. But since I live in the tropics and it's like 99 humidity all the time and 105 degrees, the fact that it lasts eight hours on my skin might mean it'll last a lot longer on you. I'm just guessing that it might. Again, it completely depends on you, your body chemistry, and where and how you apply. Now, projection of this fragrance is kind of very interesting. I kind of wanted to talk about you know, that. that sillage, you know, I it's sillage, projection, scent cloud, scent trail. It's kind of like people around you experiencing your fragrance and what level of intensity is that? I like to do everything and like give you guys um, examples as arm's length. I think that's a great way to say if it's within arm's length, you can go like this and know that's how far my fragrance is projecting. Now, just because you can't smell a fragrance, you might get nose blind to it, doesn't mean that everyone around you won't be able to smell it. And just because you can smell a fragrance if it's very strong and intimate, doesn't mean that people around you will be able to do it too, which is why a lot of people really depend on fragrances to project if they want their fragrances to make an impact to the people around them. Now, some fragrances, sillage, can be very loud and very oppressive. And what I mean by oppressive, it can be very heavy. And if you're around people who are very sensitive to fragrances or don't like fragrances, it can make their eyes water, it can make them cough, it can make them sneeze, and it can be really uncomfortable for them. So those fragrances I never recommend in work-appropriate settings or professional settings. Um, and this is one of those fragrances. Because it is a white floral, and white florals are a love or hate for some people, this does have a loud enough projection that if you're sitting next to somebody in a cubicle, or if you're in a study group, or if you're at the theater, or if you're in class sitting next to classmates, this fragrance will affect people a little bit longer than arm's length. I'd say it's probably two arms if I had my arms were double the length. Um, it is a very strongly projected fragrance. So because it's a white floral and because it does kind of leave a nice scent cloud or have a very large scent cloud, I wouldn't recommend this for professional settings. That doesn't mean that the sillage is oppressive though. It's actually really nice. It's very light. It's very um, effervescent, almost somewhat sheer as you walk up next to somebody who's wearing this fragrance. And I know that because the sales associate I bought this from was wearing it. Um, it's just very pretty. It's just very sweet and light and airy. But again, <clears throat> you have to like white florals because it's a white floral fragrance and that's very apparent. So if this isn't like a heaviness, like say, like Angel from Terry Mugler or Hypnotic Poison or any of the poison fragrances from Dior, um, and I love those fragrances, but their, their scent cloud is thick. You can cut it with a knife. This is very light. It's almost kind of like more of like a cotton candy than a thick, dense cake. But again, it is very sweet and it is very heavy on the white floral, so I wouldn't recommend this in a work appropriate setting. But if you're going out to the club or if you're going shopping or you're going to go to a party and you want to wear a really nice, sweet, playful white floral fragrance, this is an excellent choice. So I would definitely say it has really nice sillage. Overall, I really love this fragrance and if this is the route that are the route that the Gucci is going. I'm really excited. I don't have any issues with designer fragrances. I know some people only buy designer fragrances. Some people frown down against designer fragrances. I don't care. If it smells nice, I'll buy it or I'll wear it. 
probably both. <laughs> And this was something that I was really excited to try out because I was really excited about the new creative director. So if this is the way that they're going, I'm really super duper excited. It's definitely worth checking out if you like white florals. Um, so yeah, that's my review of Gucci Bloom. All positive, really happy I got a bottle, and definitely worth checking out, again, if you really like white floral fragrances. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, guys, if you like my fragrance reviews and fragrance videos, um, or just my videos in general, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also, don't forget to subscribe, because it's free, and I'm free, and I put up... <laughs> Because it's free and I'm free. There we go. And I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye.